Now, one of the biggest revelations I get out of women is this whole nothing box issue. They just, everything's starting to make sense. <laughs> and I've had women say, oh, it's nothing. Can I go in his nothing box with him? <laughs> no! <laughs> Why not? Because then it's something. <laughs> Besides, you'll walk in there and go, You know, you know, this place could really use some pictures. <laughs> My nice little table over here, some flowers, is it? No! Nothing! Get out! We don't want nothing. <laughs> now, this handles the way men, men and women handle stress. Okay? When a man is stressed out, all he wants to do is run to his nothing box. This is how we unwind. The last thing we want to do when we're stressed out is talk about it. We don't want to talk about it. We just want to... Of course, it just drives her nuts, you know. A woman will see a man in that vegetative state and she'll come up and go... What you thinking about? Nothing. <laughs> we gotta be thinking about something. Nah, I was thinking about nothing. <laughs> that guy's on a roll till you showed up. <laughs> Go away. All right? Because that's how he handles stress. He just. <sighs> <sighs> now, when a woman is stressed out, she has to talk about it. If she doesn't talk about it, her brain will literally explode. <laughs> so she'll start just, I don't know, what might have something to do with this. Not, I'm going to have to, you know, I never thought about this. My brother will be here to me. And, and I know men who run from their wives when they do this. They do, I say, I say well, why, why do you run from her? He says, because I don't know what to tell her. I said, dear God, man, who told you to tell her anything? <laughs> she wants you to tell her anything. See, a lot of guys, they feel obligated when, when you start explaining all your stress, they feel obligated to fix you. Right? Because that's what a man does. A man only tells his troubles to another man in hopes that that man will help fix it. Okay? But she's not a man. And you try and fix her, she's going to kill you. <laughs> Right? She doesn't want your advice. She doesn't want your help. She wants you to shut up and listen. And a couple of ladies. That's right. You tell him. Tell him to shut up. <laughs> they like that. Now I had one guy tell me, he said, man, if you, she just tell me how she feels. I said, she doesn't know yet. This is what he means. That's how she figures out how she feels by connecting this wire to that wire, this wire, and so Now, because they love each other, they offer to each other their answer, their solution. A man senses his wife is stressed out. He loves the girl. He offers to the girl his best and finest solution. Or just quit talking about it. <laughs> just, just quit thinking about it. Yeah. <laughs> and, and that's when she starts reaching for the knives and stuff. And she's gonna stab you if you keep it up, okay? Now, a woman, she senses her husband's all stressed out. She loves him. Therefore, she offers to him her best and finest solution. Talk to me. Why won't you talk to me?
go away. <laughs> he doesn't want to talk to you. Leave him alone. He will not die. He's not a woman. All right. I know you've got to talk it through or you're going to be twisted inside. He's not like that. Leave the boy alone. You tell he's stressed out, just let him go to his nothing box. Just stay away. Stay away. Okay. And it's hard for us to understand that because we, we think so differently from each other. Now, not only does this affect the way that we respond and stress and stuff, the way our brains are wired also affects the way that, that we use words. Okay? Men tend to use less words than women. That's because the women have all the wires they're trying to connect and they've got to explain each and every connection. <laughs> Now, they say that if a man needs to speak 10,000 words in a day, a woman needs to speak 20,000. My wife says, that's because we kind of repeat everything we say. <laughs> to which I responded, huh? <laughs> Where is my darling redhead? Is she around? Come up. I want you to meet my wife, Debbie. Come on up here. And just... <laughs> People say, well, doesn't she talk too? <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> Not to you anyway. She talks to me, but she won't, she won't talk to you because she doesn't want to talk to you. That's all. <laughs> Where's my, my tablet? I want to show you something about the, the, the whole words thing. Um, you know, they actually measured this. They went in and, and studied uh, children and babies and found out. They, they actually went and took cameras and put them in nurseries and analyzed the pictures later. And they, they noticed the, the pictures of the little girls. Right from the get-go, their mouths are just going. It's true. It's true. And then they analyze the pictures of little boys, and they're just... <laughs> they're still thinking, what was that? I want to go back. I don't get it. Okay? Um, very, th then they went and, and they recorded conversations of little boys and girls on playgrounds. And they went back and analyzed them. And uh, they discovered that little girls loved to talk. They were very articulate, loved to use full sentences, just loved to talk. And if they didn't have anybody to talk to, they were perfectly content to talk to nobody. <laughs> and they were just, just, just complete sentences. Then they analyzed the conversations of the little boys. And only about 55% of it was intelligible. Because <laughs> that's what they were saying. You know, just, uh, uh, <laughs> 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 yes. That's, that's conversation to a man, okay? Now, not only do we use different amounts of words, words can mean different things to men and women. For example, <laughs> now to most men, five minutes means Five minutes. <laughs> to a lot of women, it can be an indefinite period of time. <laughs> Are you ready yet? Five more minutes! <sighs> <laughs> As we discussed, men understand nothing. Women don't understand the significance of nothing. If a woman says nothing, look out, it's something. <laughs> oh, dude, man, dude, man, I don't know what happened. What, why, why, what happened? I don't know. I asked my wife what she was upset about. What'd she say? What'd she say? Well, she said nothing. Get out of the house, man! Run now! Uh, 
Now, this is not a word. It's a vocalization. It's a sigh. <sighs> now, when a man sighs, it means everything is good with life. <sighs> when a woman sighs, it means you are an idiot. <laughs> Now, when a man says, go ahead, he's being polite. When a woman says, go ahead, she's giving you the opportunity to explain whatever stupid thing it was you just did. <laughs> but you need to be very careful in the explanation because it's very likely to be followed by a sigh. <laughs> which will lead to an argument over nothing. And then you ain't going to have sex again for at least five minutes. <laughs>